rotating in, you and Alante Taylor day in and day out. Uh, what's your approach to kind of this competition? Uh, I mean, I've pretty much been in the same position since I've been here. So first year, trying to fight for a job. Second year, same way. So I think I'm kind of just doing the same thing I do normally, just putting myself in the best position. Uh, Trying to work as hard as I can, uh, showcase my work ethic, and then obviously we'll push each other and uh, help compete for a big dog. Go get him, baby. Austin, what has been some of your biggest impressions, takeaways from Joe Woods being on staff? Uh, yeah, both of them just came in and brought an energy to us. Um, really attention to detail oriented, so definitely have a good uh, understanding of things and the way that. They want to implement the defense for us, so uh, nothing but good from, from everything that they've been teaching us. Paul, you seem to be a fairly measured guy with your responses, not too high, not too low. Has that always been you, or, or do we just ask bad questions? <laughs> well, I, mean, I, just, yeah. I just try to be honest in my answer, so if it sounds boring, then I don't know. <laughs> What's the, I guess, difference in communication when you're competing? At the same time, you're building chemistry throughout the game. It seems like you guys almost talk and do a handshake after every opportunity you get. For sure. I mean, playing DB in this league is, is one of the toughest positions. Uh, we all understand that. And we know that you need a lot of really good pieces to be a good defensive unit. So um, for us, just pushing each other when we're out there, putting our best foot forward, uh, trying to help each other and encourage each other as much as possible. Um, definitely no love lost. You know, it's, it's, it's a competition. You embrace that part of it. What, what are some of the areas, being this, you know, year three or whatever, like, what are some of the areas that you're focused on where you're like, these are the, you know, a couple of things that I'd like to, to clean up this camp going into the season? Um, really, I just try to look at every part of my game. So whether it's making more plays, um, being focused on every single play, um, not taking a play off, just kind of bringing the same intensity to every single play, um, kind of approach every play the same way and every year the same way. So just put my best foot forward. DA mentioned, he was outside yesterday about you, and he's mentioned some stuff like at the top of routes. Is that something that, that you would like agree with, maybe? Yeah, like I said, I mean, just really working on everything. Um, so that's definitely a part of being a corner. So working on that as well. You all have a pretty good mixture of older veterans and young guys in the secondary. How, how is that helpful for the, the whole group? Yeah, it's great. I mean, we have a lot of guys that have done a lot of great things in this league, and people that you can pick their brains and. They have experience that they can teach you and tell you some things that maybe you don't know as a younger guy. And um, we have guys all across the spectrum. So first year guys, you know, guys that are year 10 going in the league to have a really wide depth of knowledge that they can present to us. Um, so it's definitely a good feeling to have that much people and that much talent in the room. What are you kind of saying from Derek Carr just having him up against him? <coughs> yeah, I mean, he can, he can throw the ball, uh, makes all the right reads, makes all the right checks. So. Definitely glad to have him on our team and, and glad that he's going to be playing with us. You've been out there with Mike, seeing him on the field. Just how does, how does he look and, and how is he moving? Yeah, he looks great. I mean, um, we love to be able to compete against him, uh, one of our better receivers and, you know, one of our best receivers. So definitely somebody that we look forward to competing, competing with every single day and glad that he's out there. Also, you got hurt at the end of training camp last year. Did you ever get fully healthy during the season? And do you feel physically now, I guess, like you did then? Yeah, I mean, really, I'm just focused on this season. Um, last year was last year. But uh, I feel great right now, so it's really all that matters. When we asked uh, Joe Woods in minicamp how do you create more turnovers, get more takeaways from yeah. this season, he was, you know, he was quick to say, take, take, mm -hmm. take. Is there has, has there been a specific, as far as like things working on in training camp, technique-wise, that he just kind of like <laughs> said to you that you were like, oh, I haven't thought of that? I mean, yeah, I mean, he's a great coach. He, he has a lot of different nuggets that he'll teach us um, as far as having leverage or, you know, what side to line up on or understanding the splits of the receivers and tendencies of quarterbacks and different plays that they might call depending on the down and distance. So, I mean, there's definitely a, a wide range of things he's told me and things that I'm definitely going to use.